Hi everyone, Marianne Markowitz. This is going to be my shortest video yet, but I must get this message out. Are you applying for jobs? Pop question. Do you like to use a PDF file? Pop question number two. Are you going to Microsoft Word and plugging in resumes and cover letter and using those formats? Here's why you want to try something different. I am going to try and share this. It's saying that it's showing, but I'm not seeing it. At any rate, go with me to Microsoft Word, go into your resumes and cover letters, and you will see all these fancy formatting with a picture here, name, um, all kinds of beautiful graphics. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Don't use it. And here is the number one reason why because these fancy applicant tracking systems, things that I pay good money for, everybody else in the marketplaces to the very big companies, and these PDF files very often will not be parsed correctly. I've had this happen. Somebody will send me their resume and I'll pull them up and, ooh, I can't see their name. So if you have a header and footer, just using Word as an example, you don't want to do that either. Because again, let's imagine you're applying to Megalopolis, Sprawl Mart, whatever it is, and um, your resume goes in there. You've got your header and footer in there. Oh, that's so nice, right? It may not show up with a phone number on their end. It may not show with, up with an email. And if I've got 500 resumes, do you think I'm going to go digging around into the formatting? Number two, if you're using all of these real pretty graphics that I'm seeing in the uh, Microsoft Word resumes and cover letters, same thing, only differently. Number one, again, you may not be getting your information into the applicant tracking system. And especially with this formatting, when you're, let's say you are a, um, uh, an accounting manager with advanced Microsoft Excel skills, um, advanced uh, reconciliation, whatever. Um, if you put that over here in this column is, you know, to highlight it, but you've got five years of experience, you get zero credits over here for that experience. Okay, so the moral of this short, short video is do not use a PDF file. Do not use one of these fancy formatting things. You're getting very few credits, if you get any, for some of your experience, the way these applicant tracking systems parse the information. And you also may not even get past go. That means you go into the penalty box. So let me know what you think. And that's it. Just, you know, ping me and say, no, I'm going to keep using my PDF. Fine. You, you may or may not get, <laughs> get looked at. But trust me, um, I know about applicant tracking systems. And um, I have another video somewhere with a um, gentleman who owns a company that um, helps you rewrite your resumes. And if I can find it, I'll upload that to my YouTube channel too. It goes into a little bit more depth. All right. I hope this is helpful. The bottom line is you're going to use your Word format. You're going to make it basic. You're going to get your content in there. If I have five years of experience, I want it underneath this company. So you get credit for it in the applicant tracking system. And you're going to make it easy for recruiters to speed read. Because if you use this format over here on the Microsoft Word side with all these, you know, interesting graphics and whatnot, it just shuts me down. And, and trust me, there are other recruiters who are going to look at it and go, well, okay. But the point, again, the most important point, whether it's uh, opinion or not, you must get that information into the applicant tracking system based on what your experience is. You're not going to do that using these formats. Okay.